Thank you. Thank you, sir. If you reckon, we all recognize there's a battle going on in Pakistan. There's people who want secular life and those Islamists who try to organize and change the society for the worse. And he's right, he's apt that today, uh, this conference passed a resolution in support of Asya Baby. I'm going to ask Maryam to come and talk about the resolution. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, the lovely Gita and Sai, for opening the conference in this way. Uh, we did think that we must uh, show our support for Asya Bibi. So there's a resolution on your tables. It's been written by Pragna Patel, Gita Sahgal, Mariame Hele Lucas, uh, changing all my words and making it better. And Mariame asked to add something at the end, which I'm going to read, which will be an addition. Um, I don't know if we need to, I need to read the whole thing, but uh, sh yeah. So the International Conference on Sharia Segregation and Secularism unequivocally supports Asia Bibi's right to asylum and protection in a safe country. We salute the political courage of this wonderful lawyer we just heard of who defended Asia and the brilliant judges who ruled in favor of her acquittal in Pakistan. Their respect for human rights and justice for all despite serious risks to their lives is commendable. Whilst Asya Bibi has been released on appeal in November 2018, after eight years on death row, her life is in danger and she is living in hiding. Islamist groups have been calling for her death, as well as the death of lawyer Saif al-Maluk and the judges who acquitted her. According to news reports, Islamists are hunting her from house to house. Despite her urgent need for refuge, the UK Foreign Office, boo, has urged the Home Office, boo, to grant Asya Bibi political asylum in the UK out of safety concerns. Their decision amounts to a gross violation of the very idea of asylum as a human right. Worse still, it signals complicity of the British government with fundamentalist violence. The conference urges the UK government to grant Asya Bibi protection and asylum. Mass vi mob violence must not deter us from defending fundamental human rights. And we just want to add at the end, Mariam has suggested rightly, that we call for the release also of all those in prison for blasphemy and apostasy laws in Pakistan and everywhere, an end to such laws, and a defense of freedom of conscience and expression. So we'd like you to support this by...